Hey everyone, Chris here from Easel. Have you ever wondered how to get a frosted glass effect on your design without using Photoshop? Well today I'm going to show you how easy it is using Easel's free shape masks and filters and a few hot tips to make it look super realistic. Let's get started. Let's start with a blank canvas. So go to Easel Templates, select a story size and create from blank. I want to create my background layer first. I like to use a shape mask for this. I find it keeps my elements tidy and easy to position my images. I'll go to my elements, select a photo grid and choose a first square. I'll drag the corner out so it covers my entire canvas. So I can either use an image from my library or in this case I'll add a new image by dragging the file from my desktop and onto my sidebar like this. As you can see, it appears in your image library. To get the most out of this effect, I found using vibrant images really work best. Select the background mask on your design and click on the image to drop it into the shape. Now let's make the blurry glass layer by using a shape mask. Go to Elements, then select Shape Mask. You can play around with different shapes, but I'm going to use this rounded arch. Click on it and position it into the centre of your design. We want to use the same image we used in the background in this shape. With the arch shape mask selected, go back to your images and click on the same image we used in the background. As you can see, the image stays in proportion to the shape mask, but we need it to match the size of our background image. To make sure this effect really works, it's important that the background image and the image in the shape mask match as close as possible. Double click on the arch, drag the corners of your image out until they reach the top and bottom of the canvas. Position the image to center and click crop. This should now be a close match to the background image. With the arch still selected, or click on it again, select filters from the action bar. Click to view more and see the filter options. Let's adjust the brightness slider to around 85 and the blur slider to three. Remember earlier how I suggested using vibrant images work best? If you feel your image is a little too light or want it to give it a bit more depth, use your filters to darken the background image slightly. To give this effect some extra realism, let's add some glowing elements. Go to Images, select Stock Images from the drop-down and search Fade. Select this green circle blur. We need to convert it to white, so with it selected, click on Effects in the top action bar, bring brightness down to minus 100 and check Invert. Duplicate the glows and position them in the opposite edges of the arch like this. Now just add your text and don't forget your CTA. In this design I've used Paradise font for the heading text and Just font for the copy text. I'll adjust my text and line spacing to make the layout balanced. To try this effect with new images, duplicate your page and drop in your new image. When your new images are correctly positioned, copy and paste the filter ID from your original design to replicate the effect. I've just named my design, go to Downloads, select PNG and click Download. Now it's ready to post everywhere. So that's how we create this very cool frosted glass effect using Easel's awesome free features and how we duplicate it across different designs and images. Plus don't forget the secret tips to make everything look super realistic. I've listed the fonts I've used in this design and a copy of the filter ID for you to copy and paste in your design in the description below. Check out our other YouTube videos for design hacks, drop any questions in the comments below, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Thanks heaps for watching.